So that's how we're starting. Let me show you how we're actually going to pull this off. Sikorsky Innovations consists of a gang operations analysis that understands emerging customer requirements. What are the needs of the future? What are our customers' needs on the battlefield today, but also the battlefield of 2030? An advanced programs organization that will take on programs like the DARPA Mission Adaptive Rotor, for which we've been selected for the next phase. Execute those programs, maturing game-changing technology. Transition those to a rapid prototyping gang that's going to move those concepts to flight. Cool view graphs are not what we're interested in. It's moving systems to flight, demonstrating them in the field, protecting soldiers in the battlefield. And then lastly, an advanced concepts group will stitch those technologies together into game-changing platforms that will revolutionize the future of vertical flight. We're going to leverage the technology assets of Sikorsky Aircraft, the entire United Technologies Corporation, including its research center, its PhD-rich research center, and the resources of our technology partners and teammates around the nation and around the world. We have a rapidly growing network of innovation teammates. We understand that the people in Stratford, Connecticut cannot achieve by themselves the rate of innovation we're looking for. We're looking forward to discussing with many of you opportunities to join our network and become part of our innovation for the future. It's critical for us to inspire the next generation of talent and attract the best engineering talent in the nation. When engineering students co-op at Sikorsky Aircraft, they're assigned to teams and given very demanding design-build challenges that have them, for example, generate a next, uh, develop a next-generation wind turbine blade, where the team on the right made a next-generation voice-controlled cockpit with neural feedback flight control. These are college students built a fly-by-brain cockpit during their summer at Sikorsky. That's the kind of talent we're looking for and we're drawing into Sikorsky Innovations. The X2 technology team was awarded Popular Mechanics Innovator of the Year Award. Right? This gang, it talks as, these are engineering rock stars. They're working to make engineering cool. And when they talk to young students, they tell them, keep playing with Legos, study math, study science, and you'll eventually play with million-dollar Legos that fly 250 knots and do unbelievable things. Right? So incubating that next generation of talent, critical initiative for innovations. Then processes. We're working the next generation processes that will mature the speed with which we can innovate, the speed with which we can make your next generation products, and the extent to which we can collaborate with our technology teammates around the nation and around the world. We have three technology focus areas. Aware and adaptive aircraft. Not aircraft that simply fly. For a long time, that was a tough enough challenge. Now we want aircraft that are aware of their health. The helicopter is aware of where it is in space and relevant to obstacles. It is aware of where it is relative to threats. And then it adapts to maximize its mission performance and execute the missions for the flight crew. That level of technology will flow into optionally piloted helicopters. It sounds outrageous, but this year we are going to start flight experiments on the Black Hawk helicopter where you'll first see it executing automated formation flight. You saw in the video the concept of one flight crew flying multiple aircraft in formation flight. Our fly-by-wire technologies, sensor technologies, self-aware aircraft lay the foundation to make that possible. Later this year, you're going to see autonomous cargo movement in Black Hawk helicopters. And then last, speed. We've been stuck for 70 years inside 160 knots in all the products, all the helicopters you see here at the show. X2 technology is a helicopter that will break that speed barrier and move out to 250 knots. Let me break some of those down for you. A self-aware helicopter. Many helicopters in the fight today have radar warning. 
missile warning. We've executed a rapid DARPA development program that puts bullet warning on our Black Hawk helicopter. We have a small number of helicopters being updated with this system and they're going to Afghanistan. It triangulates the incoming supersonic shock, shock wave of only those bullets that are aimed at the helicopter. Provides the flight crew with situational awareness to that incoming fire and enables them to initiate evasive maneuvers and in the future will enable several autonomous functions to aid the survival of the helicopter. Sandblaster. One of the leading causes of fatalities in our products in the fight is the flight crew losing situational awareness as the dust cloud immerses the helicopter during a landing in desert conditions. Our sandblaster technology stitches together fly-by-wire, 94 gigahertz radars, sleek computers to have the helicopter become self-aware of where it is relative to obstacles. We demonstrated the ability to have a helicopter execute a fully automated approach in essentially zero, zero conditions to landing. This becomes another foundation for our autonomous products in the future. 